Hello, Chilean <laughs> again. For I don't know how many times now. <laughs> I think of four. I mean, I'll let him look on YouTube. Yeah. Um, today um, I want to go a little bit for more uh, autumn look. And if you see, it's like a little bit uh, for me uh, wildish now. Yeah, grown out. <laughs> grown Platinum. out, so yeah. So we call yeah, autumn colors. Autumn colors, uh, yeah. A real trendy yeah. look. Will you turn so you can see how your hair yeah, has grown out? Yeah. It's still a wonderful hairstyle. That's true. Yeah. A lot of them will think, oh, don't cut it. <laughs> we will. We will. Okay, thank yeah. you very much. Have friends on YouTube. <laughs> Give you this back. Start, of course, with protection. Now I know she lost a little bit longer hair for especially autumn winter time. We both love the blonde color on her, but that's going to get away. Don't go into the dark colors because it never suits her. So we go into nice autumn orange gold tones with a dark frame. Oh, if I'm taking black then it's like a gothic person. <laughs> yeah. That, that we don't do. <laughs> no. Go, not going for God. <laughs> We're going for, for God. It. <laughs> not for God. It. Start by wetting the hair, but just a little bit because I want to play with this hair. So I don't work with this the way it is. You can see this asymmetrical hairstyle. It will always be a bit asymmetrical. But in the winter time, the hairs shift a bit away. This comes by the muscles on the hairs. So when you normally have a parting line that's going that way, it, by the muscles on the hairs in the winter time below 20 degrees Celsius, they pull the hairs to the other side around just to hold the, hold the warm into the skull. But that's why you see changes of light. So you see different parting lines. Okay. I'm going to work in a freehand style, so I just watch what the hairs do and I just go in and slice. So I use all the freehand things I can do with the hairs. Watch the natural lines, always do. And I'll turn a bit when I want to show you what I do. But you can see I go in that line. I take the hairs over to this side, pull them over, hold my fingers in the line of the skull lines, and play with the hairs. Take the hairs over, go into the rounding, take them up in the rounding, slice them over, and slice it out. So stay working in a freehand style, so don't make hard lines. lines in natural lines. Not going for ultra short hair. And when you pull this to the other side around you will always see that you get the opposite lines better lines. Play the other way around. I'm going to travel over the skull lines. So take the hairs up, pull them up. Don't go too short on the area that falls open, the crown sector. Okay. 
And because it's winter time, I can play with my normal scissors. Especially in summertime, I really love to work with hot tools. Because then I have less condition on there, and summer takes a lot away of the condition of hex. Creating that really soft feeling into the heads. And the last time this was a hard line. In this film I also show you the new clippers of uh, Keone. They have real nice clippers. And I show you also the focus of the product. And you see I work all the lines in the soft lines. The scissor is also, by the way, the best scissor to do this with, I think. In the, in the lines of Keone scissors, this is the most wonderful. It's a classic tool, but it's the most wonderful scissor to slice with and to work with. This scissor. It's a real, yeah, wonderful tool. It's not somewhat a bit black hair, that's why I have this uh, nice nails. But it's also Halloween time, so <laughs> I think it can, can get in the line of Halloween. Normally it's not that dark. Start in the other line. the weight watch it fall I think it's wonderful leaving of course a bit asymmetrical what I already told you because it suits you very nice Every time watching at the structure of the hairs. These are roughly the baselines. Come on the front again. Leaving the length away that she can lay it behind the ears, especially when she is working. It's the best way to hide the hairs behind the ears and not in the face lines. Mm -hmm. So I hold this length so she can lay it behind the ears. 
ideas go in thin it out. So now I'm going to wet hair. Heel prachtig van. Wetting the hairs. Take the upper hair aside. Start in the underlines. And work in the opposite line as the chin line. Lay the hairs to the back. Go in with my scissor. And use the rounding of the skull to set my slice techniques in. And normally I go this fast. Because I don't like to work slowly. and always using a cutting slice technique. So I close my scissor in the same... How do you say that? Same speed. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I close my scissor in the same speed as that I go in with the slicing techniques. Check it out. So go in, go for the routing of the skull. This you have to practice, of course, because this tool is ultra sharp. So when I would not practice this, I would never dare this, because this scissor has two shaving blades on each other. So that's why you have to take care of your skills. Lay the hair again, part about uh, three centimeters over the line. See how wonderful the dry hair slicing technique is. Go in. And freely connect the lines. Nice thing is you can really see the colors of course. Because the blonde colors lay nicely on the dark underlines. Come on, on the last part of the upper hair. Pull it. Over the lines of the skull. And here I use a deep slicing technique. So I get a nice, strong technique in the upper hairs. And then I contact the lines on each other. Coming to the short part. Lay the hairs to the front. Here I lay my techniques in the underlines. Stable my blades with my hand. Well, I already told you I'm not going too short. You want to have some hair to play with. Mm -hmm. Also behind the ears. Go in. Go in the turn. Mooi hoor, zo'n zachte lijn. Sta je mooi. Cleaning the side bit. Lay all the hairs in front of it. Ultra fine point cut technique. Go behind the ear. Grow in from above. And 
clean the control line. Now we still have some hair to play with and also have nice soft lights. Coming in the under lines, go in the line of the asymmetrical line. Lift the hairs up with my scissor. Go into the roundness of the skull. Hold the lines nice and soft. Turn a bit. Go in on the line that I created behind the ears. Klinkt heel zacht hè deze schaar. Mm -hmm. Komt er helemaal geen microvertanding op zit of niks. Het is gewoon twee blanke scheermesjes op elkaar. Het is echt heel scherp dit. Lay the hairs to the front. Connect it to the upper lines. Here you can see there is a crown area in the under lines of her hair. So there you go with the clipper and clean that afterwards. <laughs> Stay working in the line. And also on this side, she has a little bit of crown area. So you get that opposite line woolly hair. Go back over the same line. Give it a slight graduation. This by pushing the hairs to the side. So I create my own fall into the hairs. And now the only thing I have to do is to clean up the neckline. There, there it is, the latest uh, Kiona clipper, the small one. Totally aluminium. It's a very nice tool to work with, especially for those who want a stable clipper, because it's a very stable tool to work with. With nice clean lines. And my son is also working with this tool, and he finds the rest uh, interesting. So he is normally hurried up by the clippers, but this clipper gives that feeling of, oh, let's go easy on it. It's also very nice to make tattoo lines with, but that you will see in certainly in some videos of mine. I've so far the cut. Okay, we mixed, uh, I mixed some beautiful colors into each other. Made a nice, especially autumn color in the orange lines. It really looks like chili sauce or something. Yeah, something like that. But it isn't. I want to eat it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have the rest over you, mate. And you hear Jillian say, oh my god, I feel bad. 
I like that. That's just the color. I eat it. <laughs> Mix this color with uh, 3% or 10 volume. Put a photo of all the colors right now into the video. Took of every color about uh, 10 centimeters. But only not the darkest color, so not the three, because this I mix into the underlines to give it more power. But in the upper lines, I use this wonderful goldy copper color. In the underlines, I mixed uh, a three zero. So I create, create a more stable baseline to get also more yeah, power into the hairstyle. And this I mixed into the rest over of the bowl. This I come into the upper hair. So I'm certain that I have a nice Overflow of the colors. Take out my clubs and I think with the ultra fine bit of it, I color our boys so they get more in line with the rest. Eyebrows are different by hair, so you only leave it on for 5 to 10 minutes. Rinse it out with a carton wig and a little bit shampoo. So don't go away, we'll be back. <laughs> we're back from coloring. Rinse it out after 25 minutes. Put in step 2. Still see, that's the wonderful thing about 3% uh, temp volume. You see still nuances of blood in it. So you don't cover up everything. I use uh, of the uh, Glintline, a curl product, this amount. Massage this into the hairs. Comes through the hairs with my Olivia Garden imitation brush. I start blow drying. I will only use my fingers to work with, not the brush. So far, blue line. Now I'm gonna find myself a clay and a wax. Cut myself a bora and I cut myself a crystal turn. Those products I mix into each other, put them all over my hands so I don't have a reservoir with products in the center, just all over my fingers. And then I go in and play with hairs. The clay gives a roughness to the hair. And the wax gives shine. But see how wonderful her hair is. I think she even didn't know she had so much curly hair. No.
which he has. When you put some effort in it. Then your wrist of fry is on the top of your hand, so you take that into it and use that to the last parts. Now I only need a little bit of hairspray, not too much, to fixate it a bit. And then I thank her for being my model and thank you for watching. And she will certainly turn around. I give her to uh, remain the color at home from the glint line, the copper. Mm -hmm. So she can stay real lovely copper. When she puts this in wet hair, she gets this transparent color. And when she puts it in dry hair and leave it there for 20 minutes, she's totally copper color. We see each other in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. <laughs> Wel gaaf, schat. Ik zou heel erg wennen weer. Ja. Ik vind het wel anders. Ja, maar wel leuk. Lekker brutaal. <laughs> Behoorlijk. Ja. Dank je wel. Ik moet elke keer wennen als ik van jou terugkom. Dus elke keer van wat, <laughs> wat is er gebeurd? <laughs> oh, Chilean again. For I don't know how many times now. <laughs> I think of four. Ah, but yeah, let him look on YouTube. Yeah. Um, today um, I want to go a little bit for more uh, autumn look. And if you see, it's like a little bit uh, for me uh, wildish now. Yeah, grown out. <laughs> grown Platinum. out, so yeah. So Let's we come, see. yeah, autumn colors. Autumn colors, uh, yeah. A real trendy yeah. look. Will you turn so you can see how your hair yeah, is grown out? Yeah. Hello. It's still a wonderful hairstyle. That's true. Yeah. A lot of them will think, oh, don't cut it. <laughs> we will. We will. Okay, thank yeah. you very much.